brought to you by HealingMorangaTree.com. Greetings, this is Renee and I am going to talk about transplanting Moringa Olufiera trees. Uh, when, you, when, you come, when it comes to transplanting the Moringa, it can be kind of difficult because they can actually go into shock very, very easy. Um, what we have found out that if you do transplant them when they're about three inches tall or even under, they don't go into shock. Um, but once they get about five inches and up, they, you, I mean, they can go to shock really quick once you transplant them. So I'm going to kind of show you an easier technique uh, when you transplant the moringas. Um, okay, so right here I have a five gallon with some moringa trees that's, that need to be separated. And I'm going to just do a demo and put them in another five gallon pot and kind of show you guys how to do that. One thing about the uh, moringa trees, they need a lot of sand in the soil. So that's another reason that it, they can go into shock fairly easy. Because if you do remove them out of their pots, most time with them having so much sand in the soil, the, the soil just kind of drops right off from around their roots. So right here, I got one, two, three, four. I'm going to take out the middle one here, the big one, and I'm going to put it in the five gallon. Now what I'm going to do first is I am going to dig a little hole into the five gallon pot um, so I can put it there. So this is what I do. I kind of take the dirt right out of the middle with these two shovels. Kind of makes it easier because it kind of shapes the soil for you so it can fit the plant right down into the middle. Okay, so I took out the dirt out of the soil. Now I'm going to take out the large moringa that is right here. Now what you do is you take two shovels and you kind of go around, well go straight down on each side. You want to kind of grab the dirt around so you want to keep the dirt around the roots. That's one of the major things um, is keeping the dirt, the soil around the, the moringa roots. Now kind of bring it all the way down once you do that. Just lift it on up like that. You can see I got everything here. Set it right down in the middle there. Then you just kind of drop the soil right on around them. Now you can do the same thing in the, in the ground when you want to transplant them. So we do that and we kind of just compact it down a little bit. There you go. Also, another thing to I wanted to talk to you guys is we like to use this here. The vitamin, let's see, the B1 vitamin. We have found that to be very successful, especially if your moringa tree accidentally loses all the soil around the roots, um, which basically most definitely causes shock to apply the B1 vitamin on them. So once, once I put this new one in the pot, I'm going to go ahead and pour some of the vitamin B1 and then I'm going to add some water. Um, we never really go by the instructions. We notice that a little extra of the B1 really helps out. Um, sometimes the instructions, they tell you to do a certain amount, um, but a lot of times that's really not effective. So we like to add a little extra of the vitamin B1. And what we do is just kind of just take it just kind of pour right around the soil here let that kind of go down and then I like to add a little water after I kind of let it go into the soil and we have seen trees come back like at least by 80% using the vitamin B1 and that's especially if the dirt falls from around the soil all right, tip of the day. <laughs> Until next time, peace.